What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to be making some of this copycat Chipotle barbacoa. This is what it, the end product is. I'm going to show you how to get there. Super delicious, super flavorful, super tender. Let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, y'all. So for this uh, copycat barbacoa from Chipotle, which I know Chipotle can be, uh, it's one of those either you love it or you hate it. I'm one of those that do love it. Their uh, Chipotle barbacoa, barbacoa is actually really delicious to me. I did look up a recipe on the internet for this, and this is going to be kind of my little interpretation on it. So what we have is obviously this is about two and a half pounds of ground chuck. We're going to dice that up. Then we've got some oregano, some bay leaves, some ground cloves. Then we got here some cumin, hugely important ingredient. I've got some Chipotle Tabasco. We do have some chipotles in adobo, garlic, minced garlic, my SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, some lime juice, apple cider vinegar, and beef broth. So, so let's go ahead and get this diced up, and then uh, we'll throw it on the pan and then into the slow cooker. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do before I cut this up is I'm going to season the outside with, again, just some salt, pepper, garlic powder. Just going to make it a little bit easier after we cut it up because you want to get all the sides. So again, just get the outsides first before we cut it up. You don't have to go too heavy. The uh, marinade or the juices that this is going to go in with is also going to have some seasoning. So just enough because we are going to uh, throw this on a pan and sear it to get a nice crust. So we want the seasoning on there for that. Now I just kind of want to get all even sized pieces. So I'm going to lop that weird end off there and I'm going to turn it cut it in half here again just kind of even sizes all right so now you can see obviously we have some more unseasoned sides so we're going to go ahead and get those seasoned as well here but it's a whole lot easier and a lot less work than having to do it all sides. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side just for a few moments that we can put together the uh, the marinade ingredients. All right, so for the uh, marinade itself, what we're gonna go ahead and start with is some beef broth. We need a little less than half a cup is what I'm going with here for it. Next, uh, lime juice. So fresh squeeze is best. Uh, out of the bottle is what I've got, so I'm going with that. And so for this lime juice, you need about a quarter cup. You also need some apple cider vinegar. And so for the apple cider vinegar, also we're going to go in with a quarter cup. And this recipe calls for four chipotles in adobo. I'm going to only go with one because these are super spicy. But to get that chipotle taste, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some uh, the chipotle Tabasco. So we're going to go in there with a few splashes. And then what we need here a tablespoon of cumin you need a tablespoon of dried oregano then we've got quarter teaspoon of ground cloves don't go crazy with the cloves that is a really strong taste and again minced garlic fresh is best what i've got is uh, just the pre-minced stuff five cloves that's what it looks like to me about so go ahead and drop that in pepper Got about a, about a tablespoon in there. And then salt, got about a half a tablespoon in there. And the last thing is three bay leaves. So go ahead and just drop those in. And then once you've got all your ingredients, just go ahead and uh, try not to splash it and mix it all in. All right, so we're going to let that sit, let those uh, flavors mix together there. Next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get some sear action on those uh, on that ground chuck. And then we're going to just toss this all into the slow cooker and let it run. All right, so I got a cast iron pan that is going here. What I used is some of that smoked tallow that you guys might have seen from my previous videos. So I'm using some smoked tallow. And this pan is super hot. You can see that it's smoking. So I'm going to just put this in. And all you're getting going for is just a quick sear. You want to get some of the browning action on the outside of the meat on all sides. And I'm going to try to squeeze all these in on the pan. And 
And there we have it. So just about a minute on each side. I'm gonna flip them as we go. And then as, when they're done, just toss them right into the slow cooker. All right, so let's go ahead and give you the flip. And that's exactly what you're looking for right there. Let's go ahead and flip all these over. All right, so now that we've got some nice color on all these, what we're going to go ahead and do is just transfer it right over into the slow cooker. I'm going to do just one even layer, fit them all in. All right, and then once you've got all the meat in there, I'm just going to go ahead and pour this marinade right over. Get as much of that out of there. And as this cooks, the fat in the beef is also going to melt down and create some more juices. So you're going to notice that this is going to have a lot of juices. And then once you shred it, what I like to do too is I like to make sure that the uh, bay leaves are actually all kind of spread out as well. But So it's going to have a lot of juices in the pan when you get to it in the morning. And, uh, you know, that's stuff all that you're going to shred it together and mix it together with. And it's going to just make a great, amazing taste. So from here, all we're going to go ahead and do is just cover this up, set the slow cooker to low uh, eight hours for this. You can go a little bit longer, too. Perfectly fine. This stuff reheats really well as well. So if you make, you know, make it at night, finish it up in the morning, leave it till later in the day. Perfectly fine. I mean, this stuff I keep in the fridge typically even for three, four days and again, just heat it up on the pan and it tastes great. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and we'll check on it again in the morning. All right, guys. So these have been cooking now. This is going to be for illustrated purposes. So this could be a really great weekday type of thing. Uh, you could put it on at you know, 9, 10 o'clock at night. This went for over eight hours. So eight hours is what it needs to be at least to be tender and nice. I let this go a little bit over. And then what I did is I just put it on the warm setting on the crock pot itself. But so this is going to be cooked longer than what it needs to be. You know, it is what it is. Things happen. Life gets in the way. So, you know, you let it go over a little bit. No problem. I'm going to show you guys what it turned out like because it's still going to be great. Let's take a couple of pieces out. And as you can see here, they are super tender. Let's keep pulling them out. There's going to be a ton of juices left in the crock pot. Save those. Don't get rid of that. We're going to put this right back in there and let those juices absorb. What you want to do too is get rid of that. Well, you can keep the pepper if you want. I'm going to get rid of it along with the bay leaves. And then once you've got them out here, just go ahead and start shredding. And I mean, again, look at this. Super tender. Super soft. Super hot too. Got a nice couple of crispy bits in there as well. That's going to be great for texture. And while it's all shred up, I'm going to give it a taste. Super delicious. Super flavorful. That cumin and that chipotle really comes through. But it's going to be even better once this soaks in those juices. So let's go ahead and toss this back in there. So just carefully, slowly put those right back in. Careful with that though, it is hot. So just mix this in a little bit. I mean, look at this beautiful tender meat. All right. So I'm going to put the lid back on, let this sit for another, at least, at least 15 minutes you want to give it so that it can absorb some of those juices and then you're ready to eat. So see you back here soon. All right, guys. So this is one variation of what you can do with this. I made just some super simple tacos with just some sour cream, some romaine lettuce and some cheese along with the barbacoa. You can go ahead and make burrito bowls that they've got at Chipotle. You can make a burrito out of this. You can make quesadillas out of this. I mean, it's, do what you want. Do it up. Do it your way. I made these tacos. Like I said, this sat in that slow cooker and the juices for about 15 minutes. So that did absorb a lot of the juices. 
I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little quick taste test here. I mean, it's delicious, super flavorful, super easy to make, as you can see. I mean, it's just tossing ingredients into a slow cooker and letting it go. So, and again, this went over a little bit. That's totally fine. It still turned out perfectly fine. It's great for a weeknight. It's great for a big gathering. You can make tacos from this, a lot of different things. Super good. So that's that. That's my copycat barbacoa from Chipotle. Uh, guys, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you would have done anything differently. Let me know what you've done. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.